Welcome back to this side of 40. This is your girl Lou, and we'll be carpooling once again. I haven't carpooled with you guys this year. I made a couple carpool videos and just never put them up just because I guess for me it's like um, trying to find stuff to talk about and not bore you guys. Um, today's Friday. January 10th so um, basically I'm going to work I'm booked today which is amazing I do have two chemicals on my book my new year's for me at work is always trying to um, grow not fall back so my ideal of growth is to be able to do at least two and one chemical service every day and have two haircuts booked so this year, um, that is my goal, really, 2020, that's my goal, um, so that's that. Do apologize if the sun hits me in the face here in Arizona, uh, it is that time of day. The sun is coming up, it's beautiful, it's chilly, but it's beautiful. Um, I work from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. today. So, I'm excited about working as well as um, getting home earlier because usually I get off at 8 o'clock at night, but on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday I get off earlier than two days I close, which is actually really, really nice. I completely enjoy that. Um, then I'm currently in I'll put up a video with me with it done I am doing a U-part wig for me to be able to sew down I wanted to get a sew in my issue with getting a sew in is that you waste your hair when you get a sew in U-part wigs are more of the way I like to go because I'm not wasting the hair. Um, I'm not so much, I like closures, don't get me wrong, like I have a closure on today. However, if it's up to me, I would prefer to have leave out just because it gives a more realistic look for me. Like in my mind, it just looks better. I know some people say you can make a wig look more realistic by doing the baby hair and all of that. I'm not into clogging my pores and the pores around your hairline are very sensitive and from past experience I know that those pores on me are very very wide and so I prefer just to like kind of brush my hair back. I do do the baby hair thing once a hairstyle is getting older that's how you can tell that a hairstyle is getting old on me because that's when I start doing the baby hair thing. Otherwise, I'm not fond of it. I just don't do it. Um, just out of practice of not doing it. Then, um, today, the unit I'm making, I'm going to cut it and style it. It definitely is going to need layers. Um, I ordered the hair on Amazon and I, like, I wholeheartedly understand that they're not like the most perfect place to buy hair from the ends on this hair is so thin it's supposed to be two twenties and two eighteens and after I cut it it will be more like two fourteens and a twelve and a ten just because it's not at the fullest and it had a lot of shedded hair and a lot of split ends so and I know you know it's hair hair has split ends however I just don't I'm not for wearing it the way it is I've seen people wear their hair like where it's thin looking and everything however I'm right by the hospital you guys and the part of town I live in I live literally like two minutes away from a hospital and 
So, yeah, do apologize for that. Um, so, basically, I am working on fixing my hair, like making sure that my hair is growing and keeping it healthy. And my hair does well with heat. Some people's hair do not. Um, I don't know, if you were a kid and a press and curl was the thing, your hair was longer when you was getting press and curls, then you're not, your hair doesn't have a problem with heat. However, some people have an issue with heat and I wasn't going to add heat to my hair until after my hair got to a certain length. However, I want to wear a U-part wig, so therefore my leave out, I'm going to have to um, flat iron or whatever. I don't have enough hair to where I could do a different kind of blending method to basically where I could like glue tracks in between my hair and my wig and then it make it look um, better or blend it better. However, I'm just going to flat iron my hair, tie it down with a scarf, put a little product on it and let that be that and spray it with a little hairspray and it will last me a month at that rate and then when the month is up I will just take my hair down and wash deep condition and uh, not only put the part wig away but also give my hair a break and then once I take out that YouTube part wig I am going to um, I'm going to take down the U part wig then I'm going to put some more braids in my hair and I may have the part wig on for two months it just depends on how it goes my issue with keeping a hairstyle for a long period of time is that my hair has this tendency like to climb out from under the hair the braids I don't know how to explain it to anybody better than that it's just like my hair the texture just kind of pulls away and then I end up having to redo my hair however with part wig instead of having a sew-in is that you won't be able to tell if that's happening so if it's not happening so bad to where I have to take it down then I'll have that on for two months that'll take us into January February March March today is the 7th so March 8th because tomorrow is when I'm probably gonna put up a video with me with the unit on um, so March 8th I would take it down, wash, deep condition my hair. I don't believe in keeping hairstyles up. I've tried three months before, but for me, it just doesn't work. Two months is max. Take my hair down, wash it, deep condition it, and then give myself another protective style. And then in July, July is my one year hair growth month on the 19th. Um, in July, get a baby trim clean off my ends um, not so much even it out I, I know the bottom of the back of my hair is always going to be longer than the rest of my hair I have a different hair texture there just like the perimeter of my hair is a completely like the whole entire perimeter of my hair is a completely different texture than the center of my hair and my hair has always been like that so it makes it really nice for when you're trying to do updos because you have the fuller hair in the middle and the smoother, sleeker hair on the outside. So that makes it really nice. However, um, that's what I'm going to have to do in order to get my hair to growing. And then once my hair all, like the top, starts hanging down towards the bottom, then I'm going to balance it out. And I'm just letting my hair grow for 10 years. I'm not going to get a haircut. I'm just going to get trims and let that be that. I did have a fade and that is kind of where all the hair like unevenness is going to come from because the middle of the back and the sides is going to be shorter than the top and the bottom of my hair always seems to grow really fast. So when I do do that, I'm going to have them balance it all out, make it one length and then keep going from there and grow it to um, for 10 years because me and my kids are on a 10 year hair growth journey um, just to see how much hair you can get in 10 years I was thinking about locking my hair um, I'm a hairdresser so my hair, my hair is always changing so I feel like 
I can go the 10 years without locking my hair because I do know how to take care of it. Arizona, I was reading one of the comments on a little a video I had put up and one of the girls was like, Arizona and nature is just dry. Uh, you can't keep your hair hydrated. I have no problems keeping my hair hydrated here in Arizona. So I feel like I should share a video on that because I feel like a lot of people are misinformed here in Arizona or, you know, like if, that don't live here are misinformed. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep my hair hydrated. My goal is to grow my hair out just as thick as it is now when it's longer. If it's like my ends start getting transparent, whatever, I'm going to keep it trimmed. I know that for my hair texture in type, I have to get my ends trimmed once every quarter, like every four, three to four months. I can do it three a year or I could do four a year. I, my preference is to do three a year to keep it like cleaned out, cleaned out because I'll do two protective styles, then take it down, wash it, do condition it, trim my ends, then do two more protective styles. The goal is to keep them in for two months at a spin and then wash, deep condition. I don't want to wear my hair out anymore just because I feel like when I wear my hair out, it's room for error. Like, I don't mind with the U-part wig, but just to have my hair down and out until my hair is at least shoulder length, twist out braid outs, or even just wearing it braided are unrealistic for me. It's just unrealistic for me. Um, and that's just because of my hair texture. Like, my hair texture... Um, makes me have to negate a lot of things because like I said my hair texture on the outside of my hair is very very fine and then the hair I have in the middle of my hair is a little bit coarser but I'm the kind of person who can blow dry their hair and it goes straight and it's too straight to braid like I have a co-worker who braided my hair down for me and she was like um no I can't braid your hair when it's blowed out like I have to just wash air dry and braid my hair in order for the braids to actually hold and even when my hair is long enough you still have to use a lot of or use some braiding hair so that my hair doesn't pull out from under the braids if that makes sense to anyone other than me who have been dealing with this hair texture since I was a kid um, then I am wholeheartedly looking for the perfect hairstyle and perfect hairstyle to me is something I can wear a week at a time without having to do anything and it's not a ponytail so if you have any questions or comment and if you enjoy this carpool um, join me and subscribe and if you are interested in any other hair information leave a question in the link below I'll see you next time on this side of 40